Hello everybody, and welcome back for the second round coverage of the River City Open, presented by Discraft, 616 Graphics, Wolfpack Discs, and Great Lakes Discs. On the mic again, we have myself, Tim Barham, and friend and teammate, Corey Ellis. Alright guys, let's get this round two underway. Excited to see this. After the first round, we have Kyle Klein, 15 down, Willie Prince, 14 down, Corey Ellis, 14 down, and Zach Sherman, 12 down. Not too bad of a start for a couple of the Michiganders. We got Kyle Klein from Wyoming, Michigan with the 1031 rating. And starting with Willie, uh, just a stroke behind him, 994 rated. Next up on the card, we have Corey Ellis, 1015 rated from What's that, Barbersville? Barbersville. Barbersville. Then we have a Zach Sherman, another hometowner from Rockford, Michigan. Excited to see him today. All right, first hole. Downhill, about 75 feet, 245 feet to the basket. This one's pretty straightforward. Yeah, this is one you can really give an ace run to if you uh, just get the right height on the disc. Looks like we got Kyle on top of the tee after his hot 15 down first round. Kyle looks to have thrown a putter down the hill through the gap. A little low there. He's going to have a long look. Willie follows with the Prince Challenger. And hits the bottom of the cage. It's perfect there. That's a dot. I'm throwing my soft roach here. Looks great. Oh! Dead center, brother! Oh, uh, yeah, I knew I, it was just going to hit too hard. I, I was going to be surprised if that one stayed in. Oh, the replay. What a way to start the day. That one was right off the pole. Wow. Look at this. The triple slow mo. The double absolutely slowed down flat disc. Oh, right off the pole. You hate to see it. If that thing was a little lower, buddy, that might have stayed. Zach's taking the low flex to perfection. Looks like three great shots. The cow's just outside the circle here. Just barely high left. It's a good bid. The rest of the boys are going to tap in here, and just like that, we have a three-way tie for the lead. This is looking looking like it's going to be an exciting round. Thing to note also on this course is there was quite a few mosquitoes out there. Especially on this side of the course here on the front nine, but hole two we have 221. It's just a blind shot from the tee. It's really just very straightforward. You can throw just something straight at it, a little sidearm flex or even just a baby hyzer. This will actually play super similar to hole one where you're just taking your putter and throwing it straight. Willie shows us how it's done right there. Another bullseye for Willie. I'm actually throwing the same exact disc as hole one. Playing a bit of a hyzer. I like it. I'm going to leave myself a 20 footer or so. Zach with a smooth, smooth release. Give himself a look too. Circle's edge. Kyle put a great move on this one. 
Ooh. Oh, just high. That was a great shot. That one had some heat. Might have been a good limb. Solid putt from Zach there. It's a nice smooth one to get your round started. You definitely want to get these first two holes. Get your round moving. Yeah, 220 feet straight shot with nothing in the way. This is a uh, should be a cakewalk for the MPO division, as you see all four of our competitors tap in their birdies. On to hole three. This is another shot similar to the last one where you're going up and over a little hill. It's blind. It's also straight. This one's stretched out a little further at 360 feet. 306, pardon me. The uh, preferred shot here is a low flex over the hill that... Uh, moves around these last two trees here and fades underneath the basket hopefully. You could also take a straight backhand line. Willie's been taking this same challenger first three holes. Gets it over the hill, looking good. Great shot. Should be about 18 feet, 20 feet maybe. Yeah, that's perfect. Corey, you look like you're taking the same line with maybe your roach again? Yep, the same roach. Just kind of pulled it a little bit there. I don't have a long bit at it. Zach seems to let it go a little bit early into the left side brush. Maybe just kind of trying to overcompensate for my line. Now we have Kyle with his third putter toss in a row down the middle. Looks like just outside the circle there. Left a but little he, meat on the bone. But he's got a putt. You can't even see Zach in here. Zach is in the bushes. Oh. A great forehand roller out of there. And he gives himself a look. That's all you could do from there, really. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even. He looked like he was in jail and he managed to get in the circle for a look. Small jumper from Corey. Looks like it was on line, just a couple inches low. Maybe that ceiling had something to do with it. Yeah, there was a little bit of a low ceiling for me there. Kyle with about the exact same putt, about a half an inch low. Is that going with the horseshoe putt? Oh, oh it just catches the limbs on the way out. Yeah, that would have been a pretty amazing scramble. Really cleaning up with that Prince Challenger into the basket. The solo too on this one. That's a good way to start with the turkey. The rest of us is here cleaning up. three uh, another blind shot 336 once you get over this hill here you really want to stay on the left side of this gap because the slope of the screen is can be treacherous you can easily get a roll away with a few stray trees here you're just trying to stay on the hillside Willie with the honors It looked like he went with a mid, bleaked it off a little bit right side. Oh, but she's a fighter. Through the trees to 
about pin high with the uphill putt. Yeah. I'm actually throwing the same roach again. Alice goes discraft roach for the fourth hole in a row. He ha he knows 330 feet no problem for his him and his roach. Yeah, just got a little wide there, hits a tree and falls way short. Kyle's showing some kind of mid here. Very straight disc. I like that hyzer release. And to perfection. That's why you like to play the gap high left to get a little bit of roll on that hill. He plays it perfect. That looks like a nice stand-up shot from Zach. High side of the hill. Uh, but look, putting right down at it. And I'm just trying to make sure I get this one close. These are those types of approaches that you really got to focus on landing flat. Yeah. Notice how I released on Annie to match the slope of the hill. Great shot. Zach goes for the death putt. Oh, but it's terrible roll. Couple inches right, chains out, gets away from him a little bit. Let's see the comeback. Oh no, folks. Wow, that landed perfectly flat. Tragic. Get up there. You hate to see it, but that's a risk we take, and we know about it when we take that first putt. Now Willie's really got a tester here. After seeing him roll, but he cans it. Great putt, great start. Four for four for Willie. Kyle cleans up. His bird as well. Easy scramble for Corey. Zach taps in and we move on to the next one. Alrighty, this shot, we are actually playing to the shorts. You're going to throw whatever you can straight through the initial gap and get some fade to the right. This is a good backhand putter turnover or a good soft sidearm. 250 feet, one of the muskets for us. Absolutely. We'll be going back to this challenger, it looks like. Didn't quite hit the gap. A little late release. Got kicked down into the middle. Should be an okay three from there. Cal puts a great line on this. Just a little bit wide. Ooh. Oh, but he almost cans the ace. Right over the top of the basket. That was a perfect backhand putter Anheuser by Kyle. Still throwing the same merch. Is that a 5-for-5? Five five? That is 5-for-5 five five with the root. Great shot. Thank you. Nice soft landing inside 15. Zach's going to take the side hand. It's looking great. Snug on the left side. Oh, that tree. It robbed him of... Could have got a good roll there or anything. Unfortunate tree right before entering the circle. Here's Willie with his scramble. Sidearm raptor. Looks really good. Well played by Willie. Willie's really, really no been working on that sidearm, and it looks impressive. We had no idea that roll happened at all. That was, that was a great shot. Little bonus. Sack from about 40. It looks clean, it's just off a little bit. 
Oh, from about 27 feet? After the ace run, he jams it in there. No problem for Kyle. Corey, for his two look from about 12 to 15 feet, right off the pole, no problem. Willie will clean up his scramble. All right, and we move on to hole six. Hole six. The first par four of the day, 405 feet, very wooded fairway. You really just want to try and get your sidearm through here. If you have one, if not, you're probably throwing some type of mid or fairway backhand turnover. You really just want to try to get to about right here, and then you, you're just pitching up from there, unless you're going to run this death putt with another treacherous green. Kyle first on the tee taking the sidearm, just trying to keep it up on top of the hill. Make sure he doesn't take a, gets an easy look for a three. Almost gets the gallery there. Yeah, the spectators are quick on their feet. Gotta be careful in these woods, a ricochet could happen anytime. I'm throwing my big Z Zeus here. Nice highs of release, gets clean, and that actually has a look for an eagle. Yeah, I think it's about, what, 50? Willie's going to follow suit. Smooth looking sidearm. Hits the fairway. And that's not too bad either. That's the that's kind of the way you play it. I like Zach's sidearm. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're going into it. <laughs> we have the cameraman directing our uh, spectators out here. Looks like the sidearm flex zone maybe out of Willie. Oh, but he leaves it just short. He'll have the decision to make there. Zach with the sidearm flex approach as well. Finds a tree. That is either... I couldn't tell if that was good or bad. Either way, he's got a solid look at it. Kyle just jumped putty under the basket for his birdie. Great shot there. Now we're finally to Ellis. The long eagle look, and he lays it up. Yeah. Not a bad play. This green here, guys, is is pretty pretty intense. The the slope goes down those woods for about a couple hundred feet. Willie for the three. With ice in his veins. Dead center. He hits those. Another look at it here. Smooth putt, Willie. That's what you call a scramble bird, folks. You earned it. Oh yeah, that was a great putt. Now you get a chance to see that hill behind the basket. Zach cleans up. get the three on this one it's a great three to get star bird on to hole seven this hole is down a valley up a valley and then you have about a field goal gap to hit on the other side the basket goes uphill a little bit more and is tucked right we we're playing the short position today there's an outer gap and an inner gap the most thrown shot is probably going to be a sidearm up the middle or even the backhand ante see what they got this is one of the hardest holes on the course according to par Kyle goes with the sidearm up the center gap seems to have laced it filleted 
probably skip it up around the basket. Corey's team is lacing a backhand up the center gap. Hits a couple branches on its way, but keeps fighting and is fine. Uh, wasn't upset with it. I pulled it just a little bit. Just to stay in the middle. It's good. Willie going with his Discraft Z buzz. Hits a tree, but luckily it falls just straight down. Oh, and the second tree really helped him there. You go off to that right side and it can be trouble. Here's Willie's approach from about 90. Up and under. Great shot. Corey looks like he's aiming up a straddle jumper. Yeah. Trying to give this one a bid, but I just knew out of my hand that I missed it. Just didn't come out clean. Do we have a sidearm putt here from Zach? Kind of a putt approach, giving it a chance. Like skip up and almost. Oh yeah. Well, you missed from right. Okay. I'm just get trying to clean up here, get out of people's way. Couple tapping pars. Getting a Kyle's disc, hiding underneath some, some leaves. Finally getting to his drive. And great two. Yeah, that was a really good two by uh, Kyle on one of the harder holes of the day, making it look easy. Oh, eight, 241 feet downhill. There's a straight gap that the drone is flying. There's also a little sidearm wide gap that you can skip something into, but a few more trees getting your way on that side. Kyle lining up the straight gap. With this straight gap, there's one tree to be at the end of the line, and all you have to do is be below it, and you'll slide right up. There it is, underneath, sliding up. Corey seems to be following him. Roach up the middle. Gets below the tree to beat. Looks great. Inside the circle. Billy going back to his challenger. Skip smoothie there, perfect. right underneath these guys are making this one look easy I'd like to see what Zach does here with that sidearm he's got there it is there's the wide sidearm just play the skip we got a bad skip there like a kind of anti-skip leaves him just that was, outside yeah, it was almost a counter skip there it didn't flare at all Can you hear a mosquito in the mic? We're getting back into some denser woods and we're gonna start to see some some hands swatting some mosquitoes. Corey cleans up from about 20, 25 feet, right off the pole. Willie and Kyle are cleaning up their twos. Doing his best Kevin Jones impression. <laughs> the only thing that that was Kevin Jones like was the fact that it went in. Set cleans up. We're moving on. Hold nine. This is one of the cooler holes on the course. Playing to the long position. It's a fair tunnel all the way uphill to the top, 450 feet. It's good to take a small flex here or a small Heiser flip, you'd rather miss right than left. And uh, this is playing as one of the harder holes today. Definitely a little bit of a bonus. Oh, 
I'll throw in his DD3 here. Small flex line tries to force that one over Annie before it fades and just gets a gets, bad kick there. Yeah, sucks him up on the left a little bit. Throw in my TI Undertaker. Corey taking the Heiser flip, and that thing turns no problem. That's a good play. Yeah, just throw it a little bit low. Willie taking the fairway play as well. Dead center fairway, good shot. Ooh, that was looking good. Uh, rough kick down to the right side. I think Zach was going for the basket on that one. Oh, and then he just pierced that gap. He gives himself a look. That's yeah, he had a window jump. back there, and that was an excellent shot. Oh, from the next fairway. Just trying to pitch over. Looks like a great shot coming in. Oh, no. Unfortunate roll away. Okay. A, a very unfortunate roll away. As it finally stops. Kyle with a d jump approach off a tree in the circle. This is also a very guarded green. There's a lot of trees here, and they make your angles to get into the basket very odd. Yeah, I actually had one tree in the center of the basket. I had to just try to hyzer around and hold it a little right. Willie looks like he's got a pretty clean look here. Oh, hey, amazing. Let's go. I'm glad that happened. See that again. Willie lands in the perfect spot where he has the window between the trees. Sticks the jumper from about 45. He's pumped. Like I said, that's a good one to get. You see me back there squatting mos mosquitoes. Zach to clean up his three after that amazing second shot. Zach sticks another one just above the cage. That's a great scramble for the for the young one. Corey taps in his uh, par save. Kyle's gonna clean up his uh, unfortunate bogey. And that'll do it for the front nine of the River City Open here at Hammond Hills. Thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to check out the back. We got a tight battle here. Kyle at 20 under, Willie 21, myself at 19, and Zach falling off the pace just a little bit, but there's plenty of golf to play. Willie coming in with the clean seven down on the front. Bogey free, just picked up the last bird. Feel like he's got some momentum going into the back nine. Um, tune in and we'll see what happens next. Thanks guys. Thank you.